Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to another ECS Tuning DIY. Today we are putting injectors in an N54 powered car. So we're gonna talk about the hardware required to do that as well as the software required to code them. You only need basic hand tools to do this job, and then we are going to use a flash tuner to do the final coating of the injectors. But on the hand tool side, basic ratchets and extensions, you're gonna need an eight mil socket, five mil Allen, and an E10 inverted Torx. You're gonna need a 14 mil wrench to crack the fuel lines. And optional tools, but I find them to be super beneficial, especially if you have big mittens, is a magnetic stick and a pick tool. For the actual specialty tools, um, you are going to need the O-ring injector tool set. Anytime you pull one of these injectors, you have to change the O-ring as well as the collar. Uh, and this tool will allow you to do that. I'm also going to show you how the Precision Raceworks tool works. Um, it can't cut the O-rings off like the Schwaben tool can, but it does make removal very, very straightforward. We're gonna use a basic OBD2 flash tool. Um, this is HP flash tool. And then any Android device will work with Pro Tools, which is what we're gonna to use to code the injectors. Um, there are lots of options out there to do injector coding. Pro Tools is probably the cheapest and most straightforward way to do it. Step one for this job is pretty straightforward. You're going to remove the air box, which is gonna be six eight millimeter bolts. That'll pull off. That's your cabin air filter, by the way. Add that to your list of things to do while you're in here. And then you're gonna remove two more in the corner of your shelf here. And then that will pop up. You'll disconnect wires and you'll get the shelf out. Or option two is while you're in here, just convert to our little elimination kit, which moves the wires back, comes with a plate that goes on the back wall. We'll link to it in the description, but as you can tell, this is the usual state of my engine bay and I don't have to remove anything to start service, which is why I highly, highly recommend the firewall and wiring relocation kit. Super straightforward kit, never knuckle grind again. Okay, with the cowl out or your cowl delete in, it's pretty straightforward. You have the four bolts on the valve cover. These are five mil Allen's. And my tip here is this is where your magnet on a stick is gonna come in handy. Cause cowl delete or not, you have to get down behind these wires to the fourth pin, or I'm sorry, to the fourth bolt on the valve cover, cover. And I always drop it. So rather than drop it, I'm gonna run it out by hand. Magnet on a stick. And don't lose it. And the rest come out pretty easy. Okay, we're gonna change injector number two. So I like to give myself a little bit of room. I'm gonna pull the coil pack out. And then this is the lead for the injector. Your best friend for this next step is gonna be a little straightforward pick. And I just get in and very gently, be gentle. You're gonna push that tab back and pull the wiring off of the injector. Just like that. And now you have a little better view of the tab that I was pulling on. Right here. Now we're gonna actually pull the fuel injector out. And because it's a high pressure system, do yourself a favor and get a little bit of towel down in there because we're gonna crack this and bleed off all the pressure. And this is a 14 millimeter. All right, now that should be all the pressure in the rail. So that should be it. And we're just gonna come back over here and get this side. I might get a few more drips. So I'm just gonna have a towel ready if we need it. Just set that aside. So I'm gonna pull my towels out. Dab that little bit of gas pulling up there. We're gonna take our E10 inverted Torx. I'm gonna loosen the mount holding the injector in, and one of these plates holds two injectors. So both are gonna get a little bit loose, but we're only gonna pull the one injector. And for the second time, we're gonna use magnet on a stick. 
I've done this job about 50 times and I've not been able to do it without a magnet. Now we're gonna go in with the Precision Raceworks Polar and it threads right onto the injector. And this just behaves like a little slide hammer. That's an injector out. Now we're gonna move into the injector seal. You can see that. And we have to take the old ones off. Anytime you pull an injector, you're supposed to replace the decoupling ring and the seal. So this is the index 12. And I wanted to talk for a minute on the bench with you about the differences. This is an index one. See how it ends in zero one. This is an index eight, how it ends in zero eight. But what we're putting in the car is an index 12. So the numbers that we need to note are this index 12 and then the 576 and 216 is what we will then use in the coding tool to tell the computer exactly how much this injector flows. To remove the injector seal, uh, our Schwaben tool is literally perfect for this and it is something that does not come in the other tool that we showed you here today. So you're just gonna rest the injector, the tip is gonna rest there and then you pinch it off. and then you just peel it off and you can see how hard and brittle and plastic that is. That's why you replace them. To replace them, we're gonna also, this comes in the Schwaben toolkit and in fact, this component is also in this kit. To put it on, I'm going to uh, use a little bit of fuel, just a little bit of moisture. You don't need much. You're just gonna slide this back onto the new injector by hand. Slow and steady wins the race here. I push it on and rotate it a little bit because I can't get equal pressure. And this is actually gonna expand the ring. And when you get it on there, you're gonna go, but Chris, what do I do with this expanded ring? But that's what the rest of the tool is gonna do. All right. Now the ring is in the injector and you may even order brand new injectors where this ring is loose. You have to do the rest of this process or that's gonna wiggle and possibly leak on you. Either kit works fine. I'm gonna use the uh, other kit we feature just because it's a big chunk I can hold on to. You're just gonna push it in and massage. It gives you a little bit of resistance. Step one, step two. See how it's getting a little tighter? And then step three. And that's it, we're done. Now the decoupler ring is super straightforward. You should be able to get this off with your nail. And the new one on. And you can probably tell from the video that was a much more firm fit than what we just took off. Now, last step. Remember these numbers, 576 and 216. Those are gonna be what we plug into the coding tool to code this to the car. The assembly is just push it all back in. Plate that holds your injectors in is actually kind of spring loaded. You see that bowing. We're gonna put that bowing down. So I'm gonna put the plate in. And then with the magnet tool, I sort of massage it into position. If you have smaller hands, this should be very straightforward. Put it in there, come in with the bolt. I've done this a thousand times. You put a camera on me and I can't get it. There we go. Back with the inverted E10 Torx. Now we're gonna connect the hard line. And this is one, if you've watched any of my DIYs, you'll know you put everything on loose, get it all started, and then oscillate back and forth to tighten them down because it's a very precise fit. And again, that's a 14 mil. I'll plug the injector in, reseat the coil pack,
And now we're ready to code the injector. To code your injectors, you'll need an OBD2 flash tool of some kind. We're using Pro Tools for this application because it's very easy to use and pairs with an Android tablet. Simply connect your OBD2 device to the flash tool, find the function to code the injectors, and in the case of Pro Tools, we're going to go to Engine, Functions, and Injector Coding. From there, select the injector or injectors that need coded and input the appropriate values. In our case, 576 and 216. After that, simply hit Confirm and code to complete the process. Repeat this for the other injectors that need coding. After coding your injectors, don't forget to reinstall your factory engine cover. Now, if you did a cowl delete like me, you're done. If you still haven't been sold on doing a cowl delete, you have 10 more of these <laughs> eight millimeter quarter inch Allen or eight millimeter quarter inch bolts to put back in. Just as a reminder, the cowl will go back on. You'll have a eight mil there and there. And then, whoops, your air filter will go back on. You have eight mil here, 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 and here. Job done. Get a cowl delete. Okay, that's everything on installing injectors on an N54. I hope you enjoyed the DIY. See, it's not so scary and it doesn't require crazy, crazy tools. Uh, everything's pretty affordable. We keep it easy. We'll link to all the tools, products, and everything you saw on the video. So please like, comment, and subscribe for more enthusiast content.